got my pants. Gary Christie got my mama and dad too. Got my brothers, Bill and Ethan, my grandma, my cousins too. It's the in the yard like any other day. Cannon had gone to church Sunday morning with his dad and sister. Everybody there just loved Cannon. And Cannon just loved riding his bike as he was doing Sunday evening in his dad's front yard on Archer's Road. His two sisters there with him. His dad, Austin Hennett, was inside when he heard the gunshot. I just scooped him up in my arms and held him and held him and I screamed and somebody helped me play Please help me save my son. God, save my son, please. Kenneth looked up and saw his neighbor in the yard next door, gun in hand, pacing frantically. I, I was looking at him as I was picking up Cannon, and I was so full of rage, but I couldn't leave my son's side. I just wanted to be with my son. Kenneth's fiance called 911. He says his neighbor, 25-year-old Darius Sessoms, who lived with his parents, soon drove away. Police arrested Sessoms the next day, charging him with murder. Can you explain why he would shoot your five-year-old boy? I have no idea why he would kill my son in front of his two sisters, his cousin. No idea. Just the night before, Hennett says he had Sessoms over for supper. They sat on the porch, drank a beer together. So, because there was never any thing between me and him, any bad blood whatsoever for him to have a reason to do this. But those last moments with Cannon, unimaginable. They can't imagine what it's like to hold your son while he's suffering from a gunshot wound to the head as his blood run down my arm. Tonight, a local community coming together to grieve the loss of a little boy who eyewitnesses say was shot and killed at point blank range while riding his bike. Cannon Hennett was just days away from starting kindergarten, but instead his loved ones gathered this evening to say goodbye. Michael Lozano speaking with family members. He is live in Wilson with more. Michael. Hey, Tisha. Well, yeah, this family is heartbroken. They've all left here from the funeral home. They had the funeral service earlier this evening. We saw it in the family's faces. We heard it in their voices. They are devastated by what happened, and especially because their son was just riding his bike on a summer evening. Cannon was a beautiful kid. And you see a smile on his face, that's where it was. And for this to happen, we shouldn't even be here. A grandfather and his family coming to grips with the shocking loss of five-year-old Cannon Hennick. At this evening's funeral service, more than 100 cars filled several parking lots. The Wilson community standing by the family during an unthinkable time. We didn't know it was just like all the other kids that I, that's mine and I helped raise. Lee Parker was Cannon's stepfather. He tells Eyewitness News he was shaken to his core when he heard that a neighbor allegedly shot Cannon while he was riding his bike outside of his home. We received a call, man. I, I was riding down the road. I just blacked out. Couldn't even think for a few seconds. Took a minute to rest. Cannon's death garnering national attention. People all across the world hashtagging his name, also sending prayers and words of encouragement to the family. People have done for us all around from Australia, Ohio, Colorado. I mean, it don't stop. Tonight, 25 year old Darius Sessoms is in jail on no bond facing a first degree murder charge. Cannon's grandfather angered that anyone would do this to a kid just being a kid. That's evil. I never met this guy in my life, but that is one evil dude. To do that, he's where he should be. A loving, free-spirited young boy who was set to start kindergarten this week. Now the family is left trying to fill a hole they say will be impossible to replace. Try to get this. It'll never be behind us. He's always be with us, but we, we're going to get through it.
Wilson police still do not have a motive at this evening. The family says they are grateful for the support they are seeing nationwide, worldwide, and right here in the community of Wilson. They are saying that right now it's about just trying to move forward and heal. I'm live in Wilson, Michael Lozano, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, the footage that you've seen and the pictures are um, of a little boy named Cannon. I'm not sure if you've all heard of this, you know, the, the, this story or not, but, um, the little boy was five years old. And he was riding his bike. And the neighbor came out and shot him, um, at, like, execution style in front of his two sisters. Five years old. I mean, I, I'm trying to find um, an article or something, but, you know, there hasn't been a whole lot of um, information about it. There hasn't been, you know, the media hasn't really been covering it. Um, this happened in Wilson, North Carolina, which is only a couple hours away from me. Um, you know, the little boy is, he was so cute, you know, and like, I don't understand what could possess anyone to do something like that to a little boy, to a little kid. You know, he didn't hurt nobody. You know, and I don't know, like, all I'm saying is that, you know, his life mattered too. You know, and there's actually, I seen a page, um, a group that was, um, wanting people to support the guy that actually killed him. That he needed justice. The only justice that guy needs is to be <coughs> thrown in jail. Thrown under the jail. Um, and a lot, you know, have a slow, painful death. That's all I could really say for him. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Um, the shooting happened around 5.30 p.m. on Sunday, August 9th. When officers arrived, they found Cannon suffering from a gunshot wound. Officers and EMS immediately began performing life-saving efforts. Why did it? I just I really don't I don't understand it and it's like hold up. Um Um the boy was taken to the hospital where he later died. Um, neighbor, one of the neighbors, Charlene Walburn, I think that's how you said the name, said another neighbor told her that a man walked up to Cannon and shot him. Our neighbor saw it. She said the young man just walked up to the little boy who was sitting on his bike, which he does every day. I just don't understand why he did it. How can you walk up to a little boy point blank and put a gun to his head and just shoot him? How could anyone do that? We were eating our dinner and we heard a bang. We knew it was a gunshot. I told him to call 911 and I ran to the door. <clears throat> he would come over to my house. Him and my husband would 
always talk back and forth, and he would ask my husband to put air in his tire. If he saw me on the porch with a popsicle, he would always come over and ask me if he could have one. You know, as someone who's lost a child, there's no greater pain than losing your child. There's nothing worse than having to bury your child. Um, you know, I, I can't imagine how it would feel to have my child be shot. You know, that's, that's, I'm sorry, I know I'm being kind of, it's just, this kind of hits home, you know, and I mean, that little boy didn't deserve this. His family didn't deserve to have to bury their child. You know, he was about to start kindergarten. And you know, what motive could this man have had to go and kill this little boy? You know, why isn't there more coverage on this story? Why isn't, you know, there... You know, why aren't people outraged about this? I'm outraged about it. This should have never happened. An innocent little boy lost his life. Little boy, only five years old. And he was killed in front of his sisters. That's something that his sisters want to live with for the rest of their life. The fact that they saw their, their little brother die. His dad picked him up. And his blood was running. Was running down his arm. You know, all I keep thinking about is what that poor family is going through right now. You know, it's... It's not right. It's not fair. And I can just only pray and hope that that family finds some peace. You know, and that little, like, adorable little boy is finally at peace now. You know, he's not going to have to worry about all the problems in the world. You know, he's up in heaven. Where he ain't ever about nothing. Ever again. But I really do hope and pray that the man that did it, he's going to get what he deserves in one way or another. And I know he's in jail, but I still don't think that's, that's enough. I'm not for someone who took, an, you know, the life of an innocent little boy. You know, I've seen a lot of people arguing about the, the circumstances involving this case. And, you know, my point is, it doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter who did it. It doesn't matter any of that. All that matters is that an innocent little boy got killed. That's all that matters. I don't care if he got killed by a purple dinosaur. The fact is, he got killed. There was no point. There was no reason. We need to all keep that in mind. You know, that it doesn't, it doesn't matter who. It happened. And it should never have happened. 
but if you have children, if you're lucky enough to still have, you know, to have your children or whatever, make sure you give them a big hug tonight and a kiss and let them know how much you love them because tomorrow isn't promised. And we don't know if the breath we take is going to be our last. But if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.